but how special is tonight for you? I want to tell you how special. I don't know. Um, no, it's uh, really special. Um, am I supposed to be holding this? No, but you can. I like it. Cute. Um, really special. I'm really honored. I'm honored to be here. Um, the Daily Front Row is obviously an amazing um, award. I'm really honored to receive it. And I'm really grateful that I have Kim here presenting me with the award. She's honestly the kindest person I've ever met. Um, so generous um, and obviously she's my client but also a friend and I'm really grateful um, and honored that she could be, be here to do it. I asked her and she didn't sort of flinch, she instantly was like absolutely I'll be there. So I feel really lucky to uh, have a, you know, not only as a hair muse but as a friend. Um, yeah, really proud. You started working in a local hair salon when you were 13. That's right, yeah. I mean, what would you say to your younger self now? Oh my god, my younger self. I would say it's a long journey. Just don't give up and you know it's interesting because along the way there were so many no's there were so many people that would laugh at me for what I wanted to do I'm a, I'm a small town boy and uh, you know I had big hopes and big dreams and not everyone wanted to support that uh, but I want to say thank you to everyone that, uh, <laughs> I wanted to say thank you to everyone that said no because you know it always gave me motivation to go you know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove it to, to you and to me and to everyone like I think if you're passionate about what you do and you work hard yeah, good things can happen um, and it's consistent it's every day and people it's funny people view success they're like how do you become successful I don't really see myself as success, like successful I, I I see myself as actually getting to do something I really really enjoy on different levels whether it's working with Kim or working with you know Miss Jones that comes into the salon every week for a blow dry because I know when she walked out her shoulders went back she stood taller hair is like an emotional medicine for anyone and it makes anyone feel great um and i'm i, I guess it's it feels like a bit like a superpower i feel lucky to to have that you know you make people feel more confident and i love totally. that about you You've done these amazing looks on Kim. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the secret behind both of these. Oh my God, the secret behind a Met Ball look is just to go for gold. Honestly, it's always the scariest Met Ball. Met Ball carpet is always the scariest carpet you can do. Um, it's the riskiest because it's the most like unexpected. You're expected to do something different. Um, and, you know, doing something different is risks. And when you're getting these cameras that take pictures from 360 degrees in HD definition, there's no control and it's scary when you're doing something like that. But I will say Kim is always up for a look. You know, whether it's a 75 inch ponytail or bleaching her hair the night before the mare, whatever it is, she always turns it out. Um, so yeah, absolutely um, proud to um, you know work with her. And I mean, look how amazing, look at these looks, I know. hot. Amazing, you Thank went you. to Vegas last night and now you're here. Vegas! I know, I was so tired it looks this morning. Fabulous. Listen babe, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I love to hear it, mic drop. Thanks Chris.